All right, should we do some debates? I would love it, yeah. All right. So Niners coming off a bye week. They got a playoff game coming up, basically. I mean, if you think the season isn't dead yet, they got to win on Sunday against the Rams, who played on the East Coast yesterday. They have six days to prepare and rest. The Niners have 14. You don't think it's going to be enough to even it out. Uh, let's debate it. We've talked about it before, but let's debate it. W- why are the Niners going to lose? Um, oh, I and look, we have a bet on this. Oh, it's yeah, this is serious. This is serious. A serious yeah. infidel. And I'm saying the Niners lose, and Iggy's saying the Niners win. The mm-hmm. Niners lose. Uh, here's why. I understand you think the Niners have the Rams figured out, and I understand why you would feel that way. Um, first yeah. of all, the Niners aren't very good. I don't yep. think that they have an offense – uh, yeah. that's going to threaten the Rams at all. And I, more important, don't think their defense is going to threaten Goff, Jared Goff. We know that when he's under pressure, he he gets the yips. And mm-hmm. when he's not under pressure, he looks all world. But give him a little pressure, and he's not that great. Mm-hmm. I don't think the Niners have the kind of pass rush now that can threaten him. And, um, uh, yeah, I don't think – that the the secondary is necessarily all that good to pick him off and do all kind of things like that. Okay, all right. I I, I think those are, those are good him. points. I, okay, but let me allow me to retort. Then let me try. Let me see what I can do here. So these teams played each other about a month ago, and the Niners held the Rams to sixteen points. Let's start there. The Niners have a hell of a defense. They really, really do. And it's true they don't have their pass rush like they did last year, but. They didn't have that pass rush against the Rams a few weeks ago, and they held them to 16 points. They do have pretty good cornerbacks. Not the greatest, but Jason Verrett and Emmanuel Mosley match up with Cooper Cup and Robert Woods pretty well. They did a couple of weeks ago. So I don't have any questions about the Niners' defense. They're, they've had two weeks to, to rest, which is big. They have the maybe the best defensive coordinator in the league who does have Sean McVay's number. Uh, they're going to play well on defense. I don't question that. My question is, do they have a running game? Because when they start Jarek McKinnon at running back, they don't, they lose. Uh, but I look at the Rams. I don't think the Rams are that good. I mean, the, the Rams have the 17th ranked scoring offense. The Niners have the 18th ranked scoring offense. They both have shaky offensive lines, mediocre running backs, good wide receivers, and mediocre quarterbacks. Now, Goff is better than Mullins. But since that game they played a few weeks ago, the Rams have lost their left tackle. They have issues, too. I don't think they're that great. They have a very good, de- a great defense, an excellent defense. But if the Niners can run the ball, basically the Rams and the Niners are the same. Good defenses, teams that want to run the ball. The Niners haven't been able to run it because all their running backs are hurt. The Rams have their running backs, but they're mediocre at best. If Raheem Mostert plays and can be a factor, the Niners are going to win. He played against the Rams uh, a month ago, and he was a big factor. If he can't play and it's the Jarek McKinnon show, I'm going to have to give you that Zinfandel. How do you factor in the fact that uh, last night they beat Tampa Bay? The Niners couldn't beat Tampa Bay. Yeah, um, they they roughed up Tom Brady. Tom Brady's getting hit, and they, they, he couldn't get the ball out of his hands fast enough. He was making really bad decisions. Maybe that'll be Nick Mullins, too. Maybe that'll be Nick Mullins, too. But if the Niners can, ha- can run the ball and get the ball out of his hands quickly to Brandon Ayuk, um, then that, Mullins shouldn't get hit like that. But if he is, he's screwed. He's, they, they have a really good – they have Aaron Donald. They have Aaron Donald. And if you ask your quarterback to stand in the pocket too long, he's going to get hit and he's going to get hurt. So in the first game, what the Niners did was they just kept running screens and end arounds, and they just got the ball out of Jimmy Garoppolo's hands instantly every time. And it worked. So we'll see if they can do it again. And we'll see if Kyle Shanahan is inclined to run that kind of offense with Nick Mullins, which he never seems inclined to do. Ever. If we go back to look at that game, Jimmy Garoppolo had 44 passing yards through the air. Everything else was after the catch. Interesting. That's how they – so let's see if they can do it again. You know, the Rams are very well coached as well, and they're going to have all kind of adjustments. The Niners aren't going to be able to do the same thing they did last time. But still, I think they can keep the the, the Rams' offense to about – 16 to 21 points. And then if you can run the ball, you got a chance. Okay. You know what? You make very good points, and I'm glad that we bet on this. I have a really good Zinf- – I mean a really good Zinfandel. Okay. And th- I want to say the, the best Zinfandels, everybody, if you care, I believe are from Dry Creek up in Sonoma County. So, Iggy, I have a really nice Dry Creek Zinfandel for you. 
But I also have a nice spot for your Zinfandel for me. Yeah, I, I don't think you think I'm getting that Zinfandel. So you got to think about that spot. I really, I got to be thinking about that spot. I'll get you, maybe I'll get you a ridge, a nice ridge. They got some good Zins at Whole Foods down the street. So I'll get you some. I'll get you some. Because they were really nice to us at Ridge that one time. So I want to, you know, what's they Ridge? Were, they, they, weren't weren't nice. Nice. they weren't, right? They even asked for your ID and all that. They didn't even ask for it. They were like, IDs, please. That's like, what the guy said. How young do I look? 